Many people find true and lasting companionship with their pets and share undeniable love with their pets. And of those companionships, dogs are the overwhelming majority of the truly close and dedicated companionships. Second is cat. And then there's a huge drop off in the companionship. But once I uh, spent some time with a crow in a dream and I thought I had an idea that maybe I could share uh, some essence of what it would be to have a crow for a companion and uh, the method I decided to do that with is by making a personal ad from the crow's perspective so you can consider whether or not it sounds like a companion you might want to have. Ominous but dependably unpredictable crow seeking a bold and tough skinned shoulder for on which to perch and lurk hauntingly avoiding your gaze. I will be perched behind your ear to make you think twice about looking toward me. However, I will squawk out my protest if your ear pushes against me out of turning your head and you will shudder but then freeze suddenly as you feel, as you feel my beak touch against your ear. I wish to accompany you as you provide me with your chauffeurship and vessel for transportation as I perch attentively free of toil. What you can expect from me is another set of eyes viewing whatever you look at. My companionship will be heard through my uniform squawk that will call out basically the same from my beak whether I am expressing anger, boredom, danger, or contentment. And you will never receive my call upon request from you or anybody else. Through these walks, we'll share looks of fear in your face and those we approach will ha sometimes have that fear. When we approach people in close proximity by surprise or from behind, they will be scared, you will appear scary, and you will be scared and be seen being scared when taken by surprise by one of my squawks. The payoff is that sometimes you will look and feel cool. Take it or leave it. If you're leery about having me as a friend, I'm curious to understand how you could calmly choose to add me as a bitter, rejected, roaming black beacon of dark karma waiting to revisit your fate through birth of a yet untold ghost story that I will see be actualized so to respond to my ad you can stand stiffly in the park with your eyes closed and shout I submit to your unreversible presence be prepared to wait a bit and be patient, but be on guard because do not twitch a bit as you feel my rather weighty bird body come down upon your shoulder and grip it unfamiliarly with my talons, patiently waiting the crow.